हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कंस्ट्रक्टर ओवरलोडिंग इन सी प्लस प्लस सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट डाउन माई इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर योर स्टडी पर्पजेस नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू टॉपिक कंस्ट्रक्टर ओवरलोडिंग सो सी प्लस प्लस सपोर्ट्स फंक्शन ओवरलोडिंग अ कंस्ट्रक्टर ऑल्सो वर्क लाइक अ फंक्शन सो कंस्ट्रक्टर इज सिमिलर टू अ फंक्शन so according to function overloading we can define more than one function with same name but number of arguments and type of arguments must differ so uh, this concept i have already explained you in my uh, video which is based on function overloading that in c++ we can define more than one functions with same name but their argument list or their uh, number of arguments should be different so similarly we can define more than one constructors in a class by passing different number of arguments to them this is called constructor overloading so if you want to define more than one constructor in a class it is possible and this concept will be known as constructor overloading but remember you have to uh, pass different number of arguments or different type of arguments whenever you are defining more than one constructors so you can uh, understand this concept with the help of this example in this example uh, account class is defined and inside this class i have implemented three constructors you can see that all three constructors uh, are having name account in first definition uh, no argument is passed so this constructor is known as default constructor and 0 uh, and 0.0 is initialized in account number and balance respectively in second constructor a single argument is received which is a then a is uh, initialized into account number and balance is initialized with 0.0 so you can say that uh, this is single parameterized constructor or simply parameterized constructor then third constructor is receiving two arguments a and b so a is initialized into account number and b is initialized into balance so you can say that it is two parameterized constructor or simply parameterized constructor so uh, this class contains total 3 uh, constructors all constructors having same name but different number of arguments in constructor number 1 no arguments in constructor number 2 1 argument in constructor number 3 two arguments after these constructor definition you can define other functions like read print etc then inside main function you can see that three objects have been created acc1 acc2 and acc3 so acc1 invokes two parameterized constructor so this object will link to this constructor then acc2 will invoke default constructor so this calling statement will be linked to this definition and acc3 is uh, uh, having one argument only so it will invoke single parameterized constructor so this object creation will be linked to second definition so you can see that we can create n number of objects in main function and whenever we are creating any object we can pass desired number of arguments to it as per the arguments passing a particular constructor will be invoked automatically so uh, friends whenever you are going to implement a class in c++ you can define n number of constructors and this concept is known as constructor overloading and constructor overloading is similar to function overloading thank you for watching this video